This disc review is brought to you by Disc King. Check out disc-king.com for free shipping, great prices, a full selection of MVP and Axiom products, and more. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Gateway Chief. This one is the disc for March for the Know the Sports subscription service by Disc King. Uh, thank you to Disc King for sending me out this disc uh, to test and review for you guys. It's cool to be part of the Know the Sports subscription service uh, community and kind of, you know, just be able to put in my two cents and what I thought of the disc of the month and uh, share a little review to get, you know, help spread the word. Um, let's take a look at this guy, first of all. Cool stamp. I like the artwork on it. I like the lettering. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of Native American themes uh, within the Gateway line. I don't know if their owners have some kind of you know family history uh, as Native American or not, but uh, it's definitely a, a cool drawing. I like the, uh, the artwork. It's, it seems well done. I like the lettering. Uh, all that is good. I think it's cool that it's got the arrow there because it's a pretty straight disc. Uh, pretty low profile disc, nice rounded contour on, on the uh, on the rim there. Uh, it's got a little bit of a bead. This particular one has a bunch of flashing on it. Pretty severe flashing, I would say. Um, but it doesn't really ultimately f harm the feel of the disc very much. For me, once it's in my grip, I don't really notice the flashing very much at all. I didn't feel it catching on my fingers on release or anything like that. And since it's like more of a baseline plastic, I'm sure it'll break in pretty easy. I could get a little exacto knife and try to remove it, but I don't. I don't care that much. It doesn't bother me. So. Um, let's take a look at this thing next to, uh, I don't have a wizard, but I do have a judge, um, which is relatively similar, I, I would think. I don't have a ton of experience with wizards, but I remember them being relatively similar in shape to the judge. Just to give you an idea of how low profile the chief is in comparison to like a more standard uh, style putter with a bead like the judge. So you can see it's pretty, it's a pretty low, low profile, pretty small rim. Uh, this would be a good disc for you to check out if you have smaller hands and some of the putters might feel a little bit bulky in the rim uh, for you. I would, I would say this one would be a good one for you to check out. Um, all good there. Pretty flat top on this disc, um, which I like. It's got a good feel in the hand. The, the sure grip plastic is pretty rigid. It doesn't flex very much at all. doesn't really give under the thumb all that much. Maybe just a little bit. Um, but it's got a good feel overall. It feels good if it's got a little moisture on it. it. Still grips nicely. Probably feels a little bit better if you like, you know, lick your thumb a little bit, get a little moisture in there, it'll dig in a little bit. But it feels good. Uh, no problems with it, you know, slipping out of the hand or anything like that. You can see some of the mud and stuff stuck in some of that flashing on this disc because it's been a really wet year here in Portland. Uh, and uh, the fields that I test on are just pretty mucky, swampy out there. Um, so yeah, there's a look at it. Let's talk about the fight of this disc. It is very straight, very intuitive, didn't take me very long to get a feel for how it was going to fly. Uh, pretty much, you know, I was throwing it down on a little hyzer, it would pop up, you know, just a tiny bit and fly real straight all the way. Um, I like it because it seems to have like a pretty nice high speed stability where it doesn't want to flip very much. Um, kind of based on its own natural flip, it doesn't really want to do that. It really just wants to kind of hold up to speed, but then it also really doesn't fade all that much either. It's a nice butter zone between, uh, you know, st instability, a nice straight stable throwing putter. Uh, it's a great disc off the tee, I think, and uh, definitely a, an interesting disc for you guys to check out, especially if you want something low profile, something uh, maybe you have smaller hands, so you want a little bit smaller rim, a little bit easier to, to, to grab for you. I think this would be a great throwing putter to check out. Um, inside the circle, it holds the line very nicely. You can be forceful with it and putt basically straight out at the chains, and uh, it'll hold it all the way. Again, doesn't want to flip very much and pop up and ride so much as just hold that angle nicely. It's a nice smooth hyzer disc off the tee. Um, it'll hold a, a little turnover as well if you give it some anhyzer, but not very strong. Like it won't flip and, and turn over very much. It'll kind of just like gently fade out right. Maybe finish, maybe, you know, probably end up finishing flat most of the time, you know, without really holding, carrying to the right super strong. That's at least for my power, my throwing style and also for it, the disc being brand new. As it wore in, I'm sure it would be a, a real nice thrower. Give a little hyzer, let it pop up and carry very, very straight. Um, good disc. I had fun testing it. 
Thanks to this king, and thanks to you guys for watching. I'll check you later. Okay, bye.